Hey everyone, today I'm talking about NordPass, a password manager that's been somewhat of a lifesaver for me as a college student. With all the passwords that I got to remember for class sites, emails, and apps, keeping track of all that can be a nightmare. Unfortunately, NordPass makes it easy by generating and storing all of your passwords. You just got to remember one master password and you're set. It also helps with other sensitive info like passwords, secure notes, credit cards, and personal information. In this video, I'll break down what I like, what could be better, how much it costs, and if it's right for you. I'm not sponsored by NordPass, so you'll get my honest take. If you want to try it out for yourselves, then check out the discount link in the description. So with that being said, let's get started. So NordPass was developed by the same people behind NordVPN and it launched in 2019 as a user-friendly and secure password manager. And besides generating and saving extra secure passwords for site logins, you can also use NordPass to store and access your credit card details, personal notes, and any other information that you want to keep secured, stored in the cloud, and protected by advanced encryption algorithms. So it's a desktop app, a browser extension, a website, and a mobile app that you can use on most, if not all all devices, both off and online, to keep your passwords and important information safe and at your fingertips in an encrypted vault. And they will inform you if your data has been breached and automatically change any affected passwords for you. So instead of relying on sticky notes or something like that to keep track of all your login credentials, all you need to remember is one strong master password. So with the basics out of the way, let's dive into their pricing plans and what features you get across the available options. So like other password managers, NordPass offers a lifetime free version that is a limited version of their paid plans. You don't need a credit card to use the free version and you get basic functions like unlimited passwords, keys and credit cards, autosave and autofill, and the ability to import passwords from other password manager tools. And handy features in the free version include a bunch of different ways to do two or multi-factor authentication, form filling, password generation, and the ability to switch between devices and still access your vault. Although on the free version, you can't stay logged in or use it on different devices at the same time. And most people opt for a premium plan for one user or a family plan for up to six users. You have the option of a one year or two year subscription. And because I don't want to confuse you, I'll stick to the one year option for all the plans. Although you can obviously save more if you take the two year option. So basically you pay $28 per year for a premium subscription for one user and $44 per year for the yearly family plan. And that boils down to $1.90 per month for an individual and $3.70 per month for the family plan with up to six users. And for this, you get all the features in the free plan plus the ability to securely share passwords if you want to with the option to give out your access to your credentials to someone else if you ever need to. And the app will scan all your login credentials to detect any weak or repeated passwords and help you upgrade them by generating a strong password and storing it for you so that the next time you need to log in, NordPass can log you in without you having to type in a single letter. Also, all premium plans include a comprehensive web scan for data breaches, and you can stay logged in when you switch devices or use them at the same time. You can also upload files into your vault, so I use mine to keep all my certificates, such as banking and tax details or software activation codes and really anything else that I like to have in one safe. And I just wanted to say again, if you want to use NordPass and save a bit more money, you can take advantage of the discount link that I left in the description down below. As for the plan that I use, it's the family plan because my family shares accounts for things like wireless internet and entertainment streaming. So this plan is perfect to keep everyone safe, even my youngest kids from having their Facebook, TikTok or whatever hacked into. It's only a couple of bucks a month and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. And I I even ended up adding my parents to my plan because they come from a different era, right? And when I heard that they use a variation of the same password for everything, I just couldn't let that slide. So NordPass business plans start at a bit under $2 a month per user for up to 10 users, and you can test them out with a 14 day free trial that doesn't even require a credit card. Their business plans are big on password health and hygiene with an admin panel that reports on password health and scans for data breaches all the time. You can set password policies and enforce multi-factor authentication throughout your company. And there are shared folders for teamwork and secure ways to share credentials among team members. And look, obviously the most important feature for any password manager is security because they are, of course, a prime target for hackers. In fact, a lot of other password vaults like LastPass, 1Password, Norton, and Dash 
Fish Lane have all been breached in various ways. LastPass has had numerous breaches with hackers targeting the home computer of a developer in one instance, and others have been tricked into revealing passwords in third-party security tests. But so far, NordPass has never been breached. They offer standard security features like their data breach scanner, an actionable password health report, like I mentioned earlier, as well as support for hardware key-based authentication. So basically, all of your passwords, pass keys, credit cards, secure notes, and other stuff is stored in the cloud in an encrypted form, which means that if you end up losing a device, you can still access all your passwords. And when it comes to breaches and security, the good news is that NordPass scores around 4.5 across Trustpilot, Google Play, and the Apple Store, which is, of course, reassuring. The even better news is that so far, it doesn't appear on the list of password managers that have been breached either by hackers or independent tests. And it passed an independent security audit by Cure53, a third-party auditor, which, after I researched it, really helped me make my decision to go with NordPass as my vault manager. But how does NordPass compare to the competition? Well, like I said, there are less restrictive free plans out there, but NordPass really does great in terms of security. So let me just quickly give you an idea of how NordPass compares to its closest competitor, RoboForum. On a personal note, I have used both, and RoboForum is also great, and I have no hesitation in recommending them, as well as NordPass, which I think wins in terms of security, privacy, and customer service, in case you ever forget your password or something. RoboForm and NordPass are more or less equal when it comes to usability and pricing, but I do prefer RoboForm's interface in terms of look and feel. But for me, what puts RoboForm on par with NordPass are some unique features you won't find elsewhere, like being able to manage browser bookmarks and Windows logins, and they allow you to restore your master password. Like I said, it's a very personal choice, and overall, both of them are solid choices that won't let you down. The bottom line, though, is that the purpose of a password manager is securing your passwords, and NordPass is ahead of all the competition on this front. In terms of NordPass's interface, I really like the clean gray and white look that it has, as well as how easy it is to set up. You can quickly log into websites on unlimited devices, and I was impressed with how simple it was to port my passwords from my browser and the manager app that I used before. I also liked how NordPass fills in forms and credit card information for me. Using advanced functions can get a bit complicated, but overall, it could be simpler. And I did experience some problems with the desktop app freezing a couple of times. Now, I just had to exit out and open it again, and it was fine, but it's still something that I wanted to mention. So in the end, the biggest sell for me was that NordPass has never been hacked, and I like that their end-to-end -end encryption means that even if they were, their zero-knowledge infrastructure is basically technical jargon that means employees can never see your master password or any of your data. Their scans found some of my accounts that had been compromised and secured them for me, and something I hadn't considered before is that they routinely clean sensitive information from your clipboard, which is a nifty little bonus. And that's it for today's review, folks. Honestly, NordPass just delivers great security and convenience for just a few bucks a month. There are other options out there, but I really think NordPass is a top choice. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more reviews like this. If you want to try NordPass and grab yourself a discount that's not on their website, check out the link in the description. Also, drop any questions or comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now, thank you as always for watching. And until next time, do make sure to take care.